Alright guys, we've got the uh, valve covers off, I've got the exhaust broke loose, and we've got the uh, alternator bracket off, so we're going to take all our rockers out, and um, take all the bush rods out, and we're going to get ready to pop our heads off. We might have them off. Well, probably not tonight. We may get we may get one off. I don't know. We'll have to see. The weather's actually supposed to, I think, actually be good tomorrow. It's actually supposed to uh, rain um, on the day that I normally have a lot of time to work on it. So, I mean, we've always got a little bit of time in the afternoon to uh, get a few things done if we can. Also, I guess in a way, we're doing stuff like this, it almost makes it a little easier, or I should say bearable, because it's not as monotonous. So I'm doing a little bit of it at a time, I guess. And for anybody that's wondering, you know, are you gonna put the same rock ooh, same rockers back in the same place? And, push rods and stuff? No. Nope. Never have. Never will. I say that. But I definitely never have. Because everything I've always had has been in junk, so to speak. So. There we go. All the rockers are out. All the push rods are out. Now I did notice that the battery is getting very low on the GoPro, so I'm going to shut you guys off and um, go charge you up. Hold on. Oh man, that's, God, it's good stuff. Okay. People of Earth, I bid you good day. Okay. <laughs> um. We got one of the heads off. As you can see, we pulled it off as one assembly. All of the plugs are in, all the header bolts, blah, blah, blah. Someone made a reference to what was going on, plugging them in the back, kind of a deal. Let me pick you guys up for just a second. And see that right there? That's just a plug with some red RTV on it. And I've actually got another uh, plug. You can actually just use the old bolt uh, to plug off the back side of it where the thermactor tube was and there we go so since that's basically all we're going to do tonight uh well we're going to take this header off and we're going to transfer it on to um one of the other head and then tomorrow i think we're actually going to try and take off a little bit early and get the other head off, get the header swapped over, and hopefully we can get both heads set on and torqued down uh, before it gets dark and maybe even get the lower intake, get the lower intake bolted on. So that would be good. That, that'd put us way ahead of schedule as far as I'm concerned, because then we can get it running and maybe we'll catch a break from the rain so we can take it out on the road and uh, you know, give it a little whirl see how it feels probably not gonna feel any different to me because it's been anyway enough of that crap let's get to work you guys sitting here watch this so I'm gonna take for the people who want to see detailed work what are you doing you say get to work I'm gonna take these bolts out I'm gonna take this header off and I'll put it on this other head so nothing you're not missing anything I don't want to sound like a smart ass because I guess it kind of maybe I have been accused of that 
on multiple occasions. <laughs> so I don't really want to sound like that. I'm just saying that it's not that complicated. And in all honesty, a lot of times you don't want to do things the way I do them. Pirate Mike and the Mad Porter both just shake their heads when I tell them how I did Oh, yeah, I just did this, that. And they're like, ugh. They just, you know, they don't want to hear it. It's like, no, 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 no. So, anyway. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let's shut you off. Let's get to work. This video is going to be so long. You guys are going to be so mad. It's going to have, like, the lowest view count. <laughs> anyway. All right. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah, we got the ra we got the radio on. Getting some smooth music. Oh, all right. You can't just say smooth around here. Big Tony will pop out of the freaking woodwork, idiot. Anyway, we uh got our header bolted on. Look at us doing big boy stuff. All right. Anyway, I think that's gonna that's gonna do it for tonight. As a matter of fact, watch this. I made the music go away. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Let's say we've got one head ready to go. And um, we did reuse our exhaust gasket. It should be okay. We always say that. Everything should be okay. And uh, we're going to reuse our intake gasket. <laughs> At least initially. We'll probably change it once we put the cam in. So, all right, I guess that's pretty much a wrap for tonight. Let's uh, let's go take a shower, call it a day. Call this a good job. I had to use my rat tail file on my couple of header bolts. Didn't line up quite right, so we gave them a little, you know, persuasion. All right, all right shut this off, it's getting long. Oh, they're letting me out of my cage early. So we can go work on the car. Yeah. Okay guys, we got off work early, as you well know, and we're out here um, playing. Now I gotta adjust this because I'm using the GoPro. We've got everything cleaned up. Yeah, I'm sure everyone says that's not clean as far as they're concerned, but you know what? In our world, that's clean. So we're gonna put our um, dowels back in. And there's a couple different kinds that uh, Ford used the all the Explorers seem to have the really tall ones. It's you know six one way, half a dozen another. I just used what it came with. I mean, I could have used the Explorer ones, but you know, just use what we had on it. Okay, well I need to hit that one a little bit more. So anyway, this is what we're doing, and then we're fixing to put our head gasket on. We're going to open up our head gasket. Again, we're using the uh, Felpro 1011 twos. These are uh, 39 thousandths compressed. You always want to you know, double check the instructions and stuff. They also have the recommended um, bolts torque ratings 70 pounds I usually go 75 because I'm usually reusing them you also want to make sure you chase all your threads of course I did not do that I'm not into practice what you preach but um, and these also these are also marked you say it right here front because of the placement of the water holes and stuff so let's Let's set that on there. Boom. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go get the head. And I'm going to set the head on there. Look at that. How easy that is. And here we go. There we 
there we go. And we're just gonna just put one bolt on here. That's just to keep it from going anywhere. And then we'll uh I was gonna say we should maybe clean these up a little bit on the wire wheel. Then we'll start putting them in, torque them down, and then we'll finish doing the other side, taking it off and putting the other one on. So, that's how simple it is. We turn you guys off and get the rest of these bolts in. All right, home slices. We got our um, heads bolted on and uh, our dipstick tube. We're gonna have to do a small repair to it. Look at that, uh, well, it's just rotten. So we're gonna fix that in some ghetto fabulous way. And now we got the heads bolted on. That driver's side header was a little bit of a trick getting it. I had to do some, had to get the rat tail file out and clear some holes. It, it didn't wanna go on very well. I don't know why. Well, it's max. So that pretty much self-explanatory or a really old BBK. Anyway, whatever. Now we're fixing to drop our push rods in so they can do some pushing. Put our rocker arms on so they can do some rocking and then hopefully we're going to bolt our lower intake on and i think that'll probably do us for tonight we may put the alternator bracket on but a few other little things and then tomorrow we'll be ready to slap the upper on and be ready to take this thing for a little bit of a rip see if we done any good so all right well it's almost dinner time man i'm hungry too so let me get back to work before i lose all the light and We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, one quick note. We're putting our stock rock arms back on. Now, this is just a personal opinion of mine, but um, a lot of guys, I don't want to get on a rant here. Hold on, let me put you guys back over here. There we go. Let me get out here where you can see how serious this is. Okay. Dirty. I don't want to get on a rant here about roller rockers, but you know, guys, unless you got a speed density car and you want to keep the stock cam and put some 1.7s on it, why buy roller rockers? Why are you buying 1.7s? They're like $125 to $150 you. You can buy a camshaft for that kind of money. <laughs> unless you get a cam that's designed for 1.7s. Don't get me wrong, I got rockers on a couple of different cars. Silver cars got one sixes, pedestals. Um, well, actually, I think that's the only one. Uh, I got a couple other cars that's got rockers too. Um, but just bolting some one sevens on and going to try, oh, I can feel it. Stop, please, just stop. There, buy a cam, buy a used cam. Don't, don't waste it on the rockers and then ride around the street. Oh, I can feel the difference. Okay, but that's just my personal rant. On rocker arms so the stock ones work fine for very mild camshafts and stuff like that obviously you got to market heads you don't have an option you got to have to buy rockers so anyway that's my quick rant for the day on rock arms I figure someone's gonna say well, why do you put some roller rockers on it uh, I'll spend the money on something else that's more worthless than that so anyway all right let's shut you off bolt these down and yes when I bolt them down I'm not going to run the valves. I'm just going to bolt them down because that's how you do it. So anyway, all right, just for kicks, I'm going to bolt them down. <laughs> I've already bolted down the passenger side, but this is it. I'm waiting for someone to scream in the comment section. Come on, you're not using a torque wrench. You're not torque checking. Using the internal wrench. The one that says, yeah, that's good right there.
Okay. Just like that. Boom. This is how we do it. Yeah, see? This ain't rocket science. People get all caught up in being all, oh, you got to do it this way. You got, man, you just slap these things together and they'll run. That's just, that's the way I've been doing it. Now, of course, it's the absolute wrong way to do it, but I just do it and it, so, all right. Uh, I'm gonna clean up the intake gaskets, the used ones, of course, a little bit. And then we're going to uh, my bolt my lower on, put the valve covers on, we'll start hooking things up. Have this thing running in no time. Well, tomorrow, so, all right, guys. Alakazam, Alakabash. We did it. Look, guys, it's running. Okay, let's fly over here real quick. We got it all put together. It's running. So, voila. Um, we've already we set the timing magically, of course. So we'll have to see how it runs and everything else. Take it on a test drive. So we may have to um, do a few little odds and ends to it. So let's shut it off. Sorry about the wiggling. the uh, drive part of our little install video um, we'll go ahead and do our what will it run um, what we did was is we put the GT40 heads on it it's still stock cam it's still stock or still H pipe shorties the aero chambers 410 gear blah 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 um, now the one thing we did do is we put the Dock Explorer upper back on with the 65 throttle body. And we put our 73 millimeter CNL back on. So what we're gonna do after we run it like this, and then we're going to put the camshaft in and run it. And after we do that, we're gonna do a little bit of a, kind of a, an induction shootout. We're gonna put our ported upper on and we're gonna change. I know Jack's not in the quality control, didn't pass again, I swear. We're going to put the ported upper on. We're going to put our 75 millimeter throttle body on. We're going to try the 76 CNL and run it like that at the track. And then we're going to swap to 24 pound injectors. And we're going to put our, um, <clears throat> we'll try the CNL with a 24 pound tube, the 70, 76. And we'll also try a Pro M bullet mass air meter that's calibrated for 24s. And then if we have enough time, hopefully, we're going to swap from that to our 30 pound injectors and to our 80 millimeter bullet mass set and see how it all shakes out. So that's the plan. But right now we put the stock Explorer back on, the 73 and the 65 throttle body. And all we did was change the GT40 heads. The fastest we had run before the heads and without the ported intake was a 771. That was kind of a lucky shot there at the end of the day. So, What's it going to run? Just adding the heads. Remember, the weather is getting worse as we speak, so we're chasing the warm air. And, you know, what's it going to run? Our previous best was really a 771. Just adding heads, what are we going to do? Are we going to pick up some, hopefully, or what? So you guys tell me. Put it in the comments section. We'll have a little fun with it like we always do. The guessing is always interesting. So let me... uh get off here and you know what it's almost lunchtime it's like 10 25 in the morning so it is basically lunchtime i gotta go meet Teresa, and we're gonna eat this is our day we go get eat lunch together so it's always fun for me or whatever special anywho we're gonna come back and we'll put it on the ground we'll do our drive and uh see if we 
see if we feel any difference. So, anyway, we'll see you guys. Oh, I almost always do that with my left. All right, guys, we're out on our little drive, and uh, probably can't really get on it a ton. It's a work day. So, things are a little busy around here. Okay. 